hey guys, Adam here. Uh, probably um, my last video of 2015. Um, hopefully I'll have it up uh, by uh, the end of uh, the year. Okay, so obviously um, this video is not what I alluded to in uh, the title. Uh, this particular video is all about uh, at-home photography ideas and experimenting um, uh, with things like depth of field, motion blur, freezing uh, motion, some still life, that kind of thing. A um, bit of a hobby of mine is uh, playing pool. This is uh, my uh, pool table. And uh, today, um, using uh, just uh, my D810, uh, with a couple of uh, lenses, going to be taking uh, some shots uh, here, still life of uh, some of uh, the balls on uh, the table, uh, but we're also going to be looking at uh, doing some motion blur as well. What I'm uh, doing here is I'm uh, going to the lowest possible ISO, so the camera is at the least sensitive uh, to light as uh, possible. What that uh, lets me uh, do is have a nice slow shutter speed with a nice wide open aperture. So I can actually uh, get a combination of motion blur as well as a shallow depth of field all in uh, the same shot. So let's set a few things up. Now this type of photography does tend to need two people so uh, you definitely need uh, a mate to uh, help you out with uh, hitting uh, the balls around and uh, all of that kind of shizzle. Cool. Uh, so I got one of them. Good. Um, all right. So what I recommend uh, you do: play around with uh, a few different lenses. Um, if, for example, we just set up uh, some balls here, or we set up uh, whatever uh, we want. What I'm going to do is just take some still life. Now, initially, I'm uh, trying this out with uh, my Nikon 2470 f/2.8. And I'm actually setting the lens at uh, f2.8, which is a bit rare for me. Normally I uh, run this lens at f4 because that's where I reckon it's sharpest. But uh, I'm setting it at uh, f2.8 and I'm just going to uh, take some uh, still life uh, shots uh, here of uh, the balls. Fantastic. Now, uh, depending on uh, what camera uh, you've got, you've probably got a few settings uh, available uh, to you. Um, to me, uh, well, with the video 810, I've uh, got uh, the rapid fire uh, available. Um, that is going to come in handy, although you don't necessarily have to uh, use it. But let's set a few things up. So here I've got uh, the lens wide open. I've actually switched now to my Nikon uh, 50 f1.4 um, because it lets me uh, get a little bit shallower. Uh, I've got the lens wide open at f1.4. And check out my nice shallow depth of field that I'm able uh, to get in uh, some of these uh, shots here. One, two, And there we go. Um, it does take practice and you do have to uh, play around uh, with timing and uh, all of that stuff. If uh, your camera gives you uh, the rapid fire uh, ability, I definitely uh, recommend uh, giving it a try. Make sure that you're shooting on M, manual, uh, so that you've uh, got uh, full control now of uh, your shutter, your ISO and uh, your aperture. Most important um, thing to uh, remember, these aren't the types of shots that you can take on uh, program or uh, auto or even uh, things like aperture or uh, shutter priority. You need the full creative uh, control that uh, M manual is uh, going to give you. So there we go, stuck at home photography ideas, combining uh, shallow depth of field with motion blur, nice low uh, ISO. And now let's go and have some fun in Lightroom and see what the results are.